I look like a hot mess. Golly. Oh, anyway. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? I am Roz with uh, New Old Finds, and I'm a, a brand ambassador uh, with Redesign with Prima. And today we are going to use the uh, new transfer. Um, the, uh, what's it called? Postal Birds. This is the one that we're going to use. And we're going to use this little cutie right here. This little cutie right here is going to go on the front of our little jewelry box. Isn't that cute? This is like a a little one that has the cutest hardware. Let me see if I can pick one up. It's got these teeny tiny little nails that hold it in place. But they're like teeny tiny little French provincial <laughs> hardware. They're so cute. Y'all see those? Aren't those adorable? They're so cute. Unfortunately, I broke three trying to get them off. So I'm either going to have to JB weld them or see if I can find, uh, find more to do it. Hey, Rhonda, we're live. You don't have to replay unless you want to replay later. <laughs> Hi, Llewellyn. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And I'm also going to use the... Um, Classic vintage labels because this is a really underused transfer, but it's like super great for layering um, There's lots of uh, There's lots of Transfers on here or lots of images on here that you can use with other things. So it's really good It's a good one to have on hand All right, so I'm gonna move down and I'm actually Let me see I'm going to double check. This is what I'm going to do. No, you're fine, Rhonda. Not a problem. <laughs> I appreciate you watching. So whether it's now or later, I'm good. It's all good with me. Um, okay, so I know it for sure this is going to go, this little birdie guy is going to go on the front. So I'm going to move it down just a smidge. Oops, that way. I keep forgetting I'm the opposite way. Hi, Christy. Hi, Bria. So guys can see it. So this is going to go like right here on the front and I'm going to keep like all the, the text and everything as well. Let me turn it some more so you guys can see. So that's going to go on the front. And then now I'm debating whether or not I want to add um, this other little buddy because I'm going to add some of these on here. There's actually one in here in this transfer that has birds. I don't know if you can see it on the example. No. And these are all way too blurry on here to be able to see. I'll, I'll unroll it in a sec. So I know I'm going to use that one too. But then I'm debating whether or not I should add this little dude somewhere here. This guy. This one would be cute, I think, maybe like on the side. Since this bird is facing and going this way. I figured this one might be cute going like on this side coming around. What do you think? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Let's do the front first and then we'll figure out the side. All right. So I'm going to put these guys over here for now. And then we'll figure out the front. Because it's got, um, it's got definitely... A bunch of different textures and you know bumps and whatnot so it's going to be just a smidge tricky to get it on there but hopefully we can no problem and then I noticed in the printing I don't know if it's visible here or not I'll see if I can try and get it as straight as I can but you see this like section right here is crooked you see that this one here, this line right here is straight. This above is all crooked. How, how weird, right? So I'm gonna try and straighten that out. <laughs> Who knew? And then this down here, I have the, the other little piece to it. 
So that'll be mm, that little piece there. So let's see, let's cut this out and then figure out what we're gonna do. I don't know how easy it's gonna be getting it over all those little itty bitty ridges. It should be really kind of interesting even to see if I can do it. I mean, I'm pretty good at, you know, putting transfers on and all, but oh no, that's a, that's a lot of bumps. May not be perfect, but that's okay. All right, so let's see if we can't cut this to be straight. Gosh, I feel like that would be straight there. <laughs> see the, the, whatchamacallit lines really can mess you up a bit. So strange there. That's how off it is. That's straight. <laughs> Funny. Okay. So I'll put, uh, da, 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 da. let's cut this bottom bottom off and then keep the, the other word because it's kind of attached to the bird still. So this, I think I'm going to put up here. I might have to cut that one up too. But the bird, I think I'm going to put here. Or I can put it like down here and then around, but then I really have to go over a bump. Which I'm not, not opposed to doing. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do it live. <laughs> Do I want to do it live? I don't know. I mean, it looks better in the middle than it does up on the top, right? Where I can do like all the words down here with the birdie on the top. Oh gosh, I don't know. What do we think? Top, bottom, middle, which should it be? Which should it be? If I do it like that, I could do it like this. I don't know. Maybe on the top? I mean, that doesn't look bad. It's still gonna be hard regardless of which way I do it. I think I'll do it on the top. And then I'll use the words and the other up there to do it. Okay, so then I gotta cut this top piece off. All right, and then is there gonna be enough for my exquisite word to fit? I do not know. Hmm. There won't be. Okay, so you know how like I anyway, bird top, yeah, top of the words and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, y'all are y'all are feeling what I'm doing. Alrighty. So I'm now okay. I want to get the bird on there and I want to make sure the bird is on there correctly because that's the whole point, right? So I'm going to cut this word even though it is attached to the bird. I'm still going to cut it off just because I want to make sure the bird is good and perfect on there because I still got to go over all these raised edges. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on its back and this one has a, um, it has a music doohickey, so I may not be able to get it perfectly on its back because of the music doohickey. What do you call it? I forget. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm going to move you guys closer. So hang on. It's going to get bumpy. Okay. It's going to get bumpy. All right, I'm going to push, push you down now. Okay, let's see. Okay. I think that's good there. I think you guys will still be able to see. You know? I think so. I'll put it up anyway. Okay. 
Okay, I need something to drink. It is the cutest, isn't it? I found it yesterday at the thrift store. I was so delighted. All right. So now I got to stand up. Make sure I don't run my dog over with my chair. Okay. Just so that I can get this correct. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top. And work my way down. All right. Here we go. Okay. 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 We're going to go right there. All right. Get my stick. I'm going to use my stick because it's a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to manage. At least for me. I know everybody else seems to like the tool. And I just have to be different. Alright, so I'm going to get to the bottom of the, the first drawer. Make sure that it's adhered. Okay. So the rest of the transfer isn't adhered yet to the bottom. It's just kind of floating. So now I know that the top part is attached, the top part of the bird on this first drawer. Then I'm going to take my scissors, which technically I should probably be using like a, a straight razor or razor blade or something like that, but I don't have one handy, so we're going to do it this way. I don't know where all of my razors went. I had a whole bunch that I had. Specifically for this reason. Okay, and then I'm going to slice where I'm going to try to slice <laughs> where the top drawer ends. Okay, got that. All right, now I need to cut. I did slice. Now I'm going to cut so that I don't get my paint job all messed up. Just make sure I'm where we need to be. Yes, yes, yes. Stop jumping around. Good grief. Okay. So now it's going to go to the space, the spacer between the two drawers. So then I'm going to push down for there. And I'm just going to run my, my thumbnail along where it's going to go. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my scissors. And then cut again. Okay. And then... I will do the next drawer and I'm doing basically all as one piece. I'm not taking anything off yet. I'm keeping it all condensed so nothing's moving around. Nothing has the chance to go anywhere. I hope you guys can still see what I'm doing. Okay, and then I get the bottom and then still look, you can still see this is still floating. It's not attached to anything. I don't want it to be. Okay, and I get to the bottom and then same thing. I'm going to cut between my drawers. I did not get up here. there. Oops. I buggered it up. That's okay. All right. And then, see, that's why you need to have a straight razor. Don't use scissors like I am. Okay. Now, go there. And then same thing. <laughs> use a razor. <laughs> Don't use scissors. Mess up paint job. 
that's okay. I can fix it. Why? What's the matter? I haven't cut myself since I was a kid. <laughs> Famous last words. All right. So, you see, it's all still on there. Whoop, whoop. That was the music box part. All right, you guys can still see it. Okay, cool. So everything is still attached, but it's all there. And then I'll show you where I screwed up, which is perfectly fine. I can fix it. We can always fix our mistakes, always. All right, and then I'm just going to take it off in sections as best I can. Carefully. So I'm not ripping anything. Good. Cute. All right. So now I'm just gonna go over with my fingers just to make sure and double check that I'm all burnished down. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Uh, I thought I had the scissors on the bird where I needed to go, but I was not. <sighs> Look, so I took the, <laughs> I mean, it's not like a huge deal, but you know, it is what it is, right? Oop, keep forgetting I'm backwards. So the scissors were a little too, uh. They, they were happy scissors, and they cut below where my drawer separated, so I kind of pulled. But that's okay. I can fill that in with some paint. That was just because I'm in an awkward position to show. But that's pretty good, right? It looks nice and... For, technically, it looks <laughs> nice, and, nice and even, right? Yeah, you can see it better. But that's technically how you go over bumpy areas. And this is pretty bumpy. All right, so now I'm gonna do again, um, do the words now. And the words should probably be, whoop, let me come down. I keep forgetting them backwards. Okay, so this one will go here and that should fit I'm going to fit it right up to the bottom of where these two need to join, like that. I'm going to fit this up to the bottom of this drawer here. That way I don't have to cut only, I only have to cut once for the bottom part. Okay, now I get my stick. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. I just use my fingernail just to make sure that everything's down where it should be if need be. And then just use my hands and my fingers to rub over. Make sure I get rid of my halos. No, they were already on. I know, aren't they the cutest legs? They're really, um, they're sexy. And they got really pretty, oop, hold on, let me see. I can show you guys. Look at how pretty those are. And I'm going to take some, um, probably like some uh, eternal decor wax and then shine them up. Or I might get like the peacock. Um, ooh, 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 let me see if I can, guys, can show you that. I have it right here too, I think. 
let's see. Look at my pretty ones here, yeah. Like this? Wouldn't this look amazing? Do they, Joe? That's awesome to know, thanks. This would look great. Maybe a little bit of that highlighted on top. Mixed with a couple of the other colors here, like Blue Lagoon. I know I'm getting so off track right now. Ooh. Like with Blue Lagoon. Mix those two together. Wouldn't that be pretty? That'd be awesome. I may do that. Okay, got back to, back to, back to, back to what I was doing. Hey, Joe, if you got a link for those, that'd be awesome. Share. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can do this standing up, standing it up. I don't know if I can. Okay. See if I can line it up. Can I? Can I? Can I? Probably not. So let's see. Blue Lagoon is pretty. No, I got to do it this way, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. Woo! I forgot there's that little uh, music box doohickey on the back. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what to call them. Okay, cut this. See, it should just go easy. Not like that. See how easy that was? And then... Do, 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 do. There. Like, perfectly lined up. Didn't cover too too much though, so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add something else down here too. Maybe um, maybe that or maybe that. Yeah, that's cute, I think. Mm, or, or. Let's see what else we have in here. That would work. Because I kind of like this idea of maybe like just scattering words, you know, here and there around the, the bird and stuff. And then I still have to figure out what I'm going to do on the sides. Maybe I do some stripes or polka dots or something i don't know i don't know yet because look here i can show you guys the birds and i'm going to use this this rose little bunch that's going to be awesome that'll be great and then i can um grab some of all these french words and stuff here that rose bunch there is good let me see if I got the birds. Oops, sorry. Let me see if I have the birds handy dandy to grab. Show you all the birds. I saw them earlier. I don't know where they go now. Birdies, where did you go? Where did there? Look at the lovebirds. <gasps> Look how pretty the lovebirds are. I think I'm gonna put the lovebirds on the top. How cute are they? So, let's see. So much going on. The birds, I just love the birds. We could add. Um, let's see, I've got some over here. I want to add something different down there. No, those are all ones that I've cut out. 
Let's add the birds since we're right here. Might as well add the birds. I love the birds. I think the birds are fabulous. The love birds. The love birds, I believe, will fit right across the top perfectly. Put the birdies on the top. Hi, Kimberly. Decisions, decisions. Yes, Rhonda. This is the, the predicament that we go through. Whatever shall we do? I think the lovebirds on the top is cute, though. Okay, so we're going to put that here. So we know. Okay, we're going to do that. And then I want to find something else to put here. So... Let's see. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Something. It needs to be something a little bit wider, if possible. And in French. Do, 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 do. Do. I really need to figure out what it all says. I can't remember. I'm having a brain fart on my French. Let's see. No, not that. Okay. This one had stuff here. Yeah. Not cafes. We could do this right here. I like that. Can we keep the peri? I don't know. Let us see. So we're going to cut this. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. I love this transfer for filling. And it's got awesome little designs in it that are really pretty. I think peri will be too tall. So we're going to have to take out peri. We could put the Paris somewhere else, probably. Wee oui, wee. Oui. How did you prime paint without getting any on the inside? Uh, uh, hold on. This one, I just used a little brush. And not this little, but I just used like a little artist brush. It's a little bit wider. Um, and I used... Uh, I use my French eggshell from Fusion Mineral Paint, which is fabulous. And this one has, um, it has, ooh, shiny red on the inside. Um, I did not prime or anything. I just did a quick clean and scuff sand, and then I painted. And just hand did the sides and top um and then i you know i just did it around the edges inside so that when you open it you still see a little bit of blue um that i don't know how did you prime paint without getting any on the inside because i did not prime it and i painted by hand all right i think we're gonna put this down here Okay, so let's see if we can get the bottom drawer out. Come to me, little drawer. Come on. Come to me. Okay. And then I'm going to move you guys down. Do, 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 do. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm not quite sure I really answered your question, though. All right, let's see. Do you line this up? There's little holes left from where the hardware was. So I'm just aiming for those. Aiming for those. And smooth it out and get your little tool. And I'm 
This is an um, older manufacturer, so I'm just making sure that every little bit is um, attached. Just using the, the corner edge of my stick. Okay. Got a little runaway there. Said, no, I don't want a stick. All right. Those are all done. And then again, same thing, just with your hands and fingers, just make sure it's applied down. That looks cute. All right. Good. So now, now I need to decide about um, the other bird. I only have one that would fit on here. So I don't know if maybe I'm just going to add um, maybe like a, a stripe or something on the sides and then keep, um, keep the, the front more, you know, where, where the business is, right? Donna, you have to, you have to. Absolutely have to buy a transfer. All right, let me see. I'm gonna move it up a bit. Because the bird looks like he's like just in the middle of nowhere right now, right? So it needs something. It needs to have some oomph. So I could do, hmm, no, I like this one. I'm definitely gonna use this one. This is why I don't do a lot of lives on my own page or anything, although I do do them, but it's because I change my mind so often <laughs> when I'm painting and stuff that I never know what I'm going to do. So sometimes things don't work out, you know. Hi, Nora. Thanks for joining. So I think I'm going to wrap this one around. I think I like that. All right, can you guys still see? I think so. All right, so this is going to go bottom up. Now this is gonna be even more fun because now I get to go around as well as doing the different uh, heights. This should be fun too to watch. All right, so I'm going to put it back down on its back and I will move you guys down so that you can see some more better. See better. All right, hopefully that works. Okay, so again, we're just going to trying to reconnect y'all. Oh, I'm back, okay, good. So again, this piece here is floating still. It's not attached. The only thing that's attached right now is this little section right here. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure that's attached there. Okay, and then I want to cut there, and then I'm gonna cut this side too. Make sure I get all the way to the edge. Okay. I think I have. All right, good. Make sure that's attached there. Okay. And then this will be attached there. I wish I could get you guys even closer. Let me see if I can get you closer. Because I want, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Hold on. All right. Ooh, is that better? Now you can actually see, right? Do -do -do -do. Try not to make you fall off my... Whoa. Uh -huh. <laughs> Eek. Hang on a sec. I gotta, I gotta balance my tripod. 
just wants to fall over. You're biting your nails. <laughs> You're funny. Okay. All right. So what I did was I cut on this side of the drawer right here and then this way on the drawer. And then I attached this side to this piece here, to, to this piece. So I cut here and cut here and attach to here. And then I'll keep doing that all the way up the drawers, right? And then so I've got it right now it's attached in this middle piece between the two drawers, right? Then I'm going to cut underneath the drawer. And then again, between the side piece and the drawer. I'm going to have to turn it a bit though, so I can get it and see what I'm doing. Okay, good. All right. So that's now attached there. So now I can start doing my flower in the middle here. Okay. And then we come up to here, which is where the next flat section is. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut on the top part of this drawer. All right. Now this one is flat. This one's already attached over here. So now I gotta do the bottom of this drawer. I promise it just looks like my finger's close to stuff, but it's really not. Okay, and then I attach to the top. Okay, and then all I have to do after that, oh, I didn't let the top part attach. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. All right. So now this still is floating. Now these are attached. So these I can pull back now. Because I'm still attached along this side piece here. Right? And then now all I got to do... is now use my floating piece and fold it over. Boom. How about that? How about that? All right. Okay, I'll make sure all this sticks down. I know that's probably making the the camera shake, I'm sorry. I'll try not to do it too much. Okay, and then pull that back. Okay, make sure we're all rubbed down there. And then make sure that we're all rubbed down here. Cute. And that's how you do drawers, ladies and gentlemen. Because I think Dustin is watching. Although he didn't say hi. Yeah, that's how you do it. All right, so I'm going to turn it around so y'all can see probably the right way and not upside down or sideways or backwards. Good grief. And not knock it over. There. See, that looks cute. Now I can add, um, all right, so I'm going to put you guys back so that it does not fall over because I feel like my whole little setup. Okay, I'll try and leave you. Wait, I'll leave you for a second. Oh, you scary. Put that back in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now I'm thinking I can add these. Here and there. Whoops, I just whacked my head. Like that. And then maybe like 
So, right? Can you still see? Now that I'm standing up, can you still see? Yes. Okay, this one can go up here, like so. And it's okay if I go on to my, my birdie. It just makes it look a little more intentional or natural, right? Can you all see what I'm doing? Let me move it over a little bit more. There. Mm. Eh. I get all confused with these. Oh yeah, you can see. Okay, cool. All right. I'm just using my finger just because it's just such a little finicky piece of uh, transfer. All right. And you can see, um, I did want to touch base on this because I, I meant to and I didn't. So with the, um, with the grid lines now, right, it looks like it's on the transfer or it's part of the transfer, but you can see once you're, once you've used it, the grid still is on the paper. It's not part of the transfer. They fooled you. They fooled you. Okay, scoot this over and I'm going to put this piece down here. I like this. I like it a lot. <laughs> Make it straight. I like it. I like it. Let's see if I can use my corner of my stick with this one. All right. Let's see if that worked. It did. Yes. Cute. Pretty, pretty. All right, let's see. What else should I do? Oh. I like how it wraps around. Yeah, they both are, Joe. Um, the bird is from a uh, postal birds that's one of the new uh summer transfers summer release transfers um and the uh the one with all the the words and the floral there um is the classic vintage labels so lots of different choices and things that you can use with this transfer with both of these transfers so maybe i can do um, maybe I can do something on this side, on the side side with something that I've got here, maybe. Let's see, what else do I have? What else do I have that I can use? I could use this floral. Let's do that on the bottom. Ah, check this out. This is what we're going to do. I don't really want the line, per se, so I'm going to keep the line off. And then I'm going to cut this. I'm literally going to cut this in half. I'm going to put the, the, I'm going to put the lovebirds on top. I thought the lovebirds on top would be cute. What do you think? I thought those would be cute. But this one I'm going to cut in half, and I'm going to use half right now, and then half maybe on something else, or somewhere else. Okay, so this is going to go on the side here, on the bottom. Let's scoot it over a bit. So this I'm going to put like right here. Or up here. Do I want to keep the words? I don't know. I don't think I do. Let me cut the words off. Now that I see it, I don't think I want the words. I don't want the word. 
Nope. No words. Nope. I just like the roses. Just the roses. Okay. And then if I put, um, then if I put stripes, I can just do my faded stripes up to the floral. I think that will be pretty. All right. Cute. Pretty, pretty, pretty. See, I think that'll be cute with, uh, whatchamacallit. I mean, I could take the other, where did the other corner? I could put that over here. So one on top, one on bottom. I don't know. Let me see what it looks like. Mm. Or I could go that way. No, this way would be okay. No, I kind of like it all by itself down there. One floral down there by itself. I could bring this guy here though. Ooh, up on the top corner would be cute. Minus a couple of the leaves I would have to cut. Let's see if I can show you all that. I do not know if I can. Yeah, see? Um, um, Lisa, I have a, um, I have a tutorial on my, um, on my YouTube channel. Uh... Do I know what that is offhand? I do not because they don't have it like where you can just search by whatever. Um, but I will link it for you um, when I'm finished. Absolutely. I can do that. Okay, that's cute. I like that. All right. Let's see if you guys can see. I'm going to put this one in this corner up here. I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks pretty there. So again, I'm gonna have to cut. With my, uh, should I just do like that? Yeah, I can just do like that. Okay. And cut with my scissors between, boop, 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 all right, and then again, on the bottom, okay, and then we're gonna just use our fingernail because this is again a nice little itty bitty piece. I don't want to risk using my tool and it bumping into my paint. All right. And then we just peel back. Make sure that all the edges are down. Okay. Try not to get my fingers in the way so you guys can see. There. Pretty. I love it. And then um, I will also be probably doing a little bit of distressing maybe. And then also um, adding some uh, like glaze. Okay. So I'm going to go put you guys back down over here on my table. And then bring it up so you guys can see. There's more stability for some reason on the table. Oh, I need to bring up some more so you can see. Okay. Look at
Look how cute. I love it. That's going to be awesome. And then on this side is the little rose down on the bottom there. And then on this side is the flower wrapping around. Awesome. I think that looks pretty. So do you think I should put the the lovebirds on top or do you think that'd be too much? Because, you know, sometimes there is too much. Not always, but sometimes. I'm more of a simple girl, you know? So I don't know if that's too much up there. I do like them, though, a lot. Maybe if I took the flourishes off the side. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Too much? Not enough? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. I could cut the flourishes off, which is this. So you would just have just the birds in the center. Stop. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kim. I'm going. I'm going to do what you say. No more. <laughs> you like it as, as is too, Christy? Thank you. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I, I think maybe it might be too much with something on top. Um, and then, you know, stripes or whatever on the side would be, you know, pretty faded anyway. So they're not going to be like bam in your face or whatever. But uh, yeah, I think a little bit of a uh, little tiny bit of, of glaze, I think will be uh, will be just perfect with it. And then the adorable, adorable hardware. How cute are those? Little itty bitty French poles. So cute. It's going to be great. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all hanging out. I don't know how long I've been yap yapping, so I think pretty much probably long enough. So um, I appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me. And um, if you're interested in this transfer, which is, oh, hold on, let me get it. This is the, that bird was part of the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Postal birds. This is part of, uh, 2020 new release transfers. And there's lots of really beautiful ones on here. I'm saving, I'm saving this one. I'm working on a pair of nightstands that are, uh, broken down from a, um, a vanity. So I'm going to have, um, the bird, this bird cluster here on one and this bird cluster here on another, which will be really cool. So if you're interested in this transfer, you can get it in the link that I posted above in the description. And um, thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you, Judy. And um, I'll see you guys next Monday. All right. Have a great day. Bye.